Scene three, take five. So the title of this episode is called True Love from the Ariana Grande song. And this episode centers around Brooke and it it shows her her true love, which is dance, and trying to she's it shows that she is running away from it because of what her parents were saying and what other people were saying about it's not being a practical thing. And it kind of relates to my life a little bit of being a creative and how I wanted to do singing and, and being creative for, so, for such a long time, but because of other people talking and, and from parents and, and saying that it's not practical, you should find something different. Um, I kind of related that episode to my life and tried to really focus Brooke's character and, and how, I'm, how I've been feeling into that episode. Simone, don't make your moment about me. I'm not. I'm a graduating dance major. I don't need this. Okay, clearly I do. But you're the one that gave up your passion as a major and career for because your parents didn't want you doing it. No, what I said was, they suggested that I don't because it's not practical. Not practical. Girl, you've been doing dance recitals since you were seven. No one called it useless then. It wasn't useless when we won the competition money freshman year. All I'm saying is if no one suggested that this life wasn't useful, you'd be doing it right now. So in this episode, it opens up with Brooke and Simone. Simone is coming from a dance class with Calvin, a character that we meet later on in the episode, um, who also has a relationship with her. And she's approaching Brooke about this opportunity of teaching a dance class. Well, she's going to teach a dance class, and she wants Brooke to come because she knows that Brooke, as her best friend, has always been dancing. And so she is trying to convince her friend to join her in this class because she's trying to inspire that um, that love, that passion, passion that she had for dance, true. Um, yes, <laughs> the passion that she had for dance um, in the past and bring that into the present. And the next scene that we see is Lawrence and Layla and they're about to have their little thing mm -hmm. go on mm -hmm. and it is interrupted by Alexis who has made plans with Layla to go to the mall that Layla seems to have forgotten about because we see that this man, this agency of chaos, as I described <laughs> previously, as it has taken her away from that. Um, and then comedy, it's distracting her. <laughs> and then comedy ensues. The next scene after that is Simone and Calvin. Um, and Simone is coming from an argument that she's just had with her boyfriend Jared, who we do not see in this episode. And she meets up with Calvin, who is basically the dance instructor at an off-campus um, job that she has. She teaches dance with him. Um, and that's who she was referring to in the opening scene with Brooke when she was trying to bring Brooke into dance. Um, we kind of get to see their relationship. And this person um, is also, again, an agent of chaos. Are you really? Because your whole vibe just changed. So whatever it was that was bugging you earlier, clearly isn't anymore. You're welcome. Shut up. And then the episode ends with Brooke being in her room and she is relaxing and she's going to do her homework. And then something inside her tells her to go to Facebook. So she goes to Facebook, she starts looking through old pictures of her when she used to dance. Um, old pictures of her. Yes, that's what I've seeing her and um, Simone, pictures of them. And it basically inspires her to take the class so that she texts. Um, she sends a text to um, Simone and tells her that she's going to do it and then we see Simone get excited through text. My favorite scene of the episode has to be <laughs> easily hands down. <laughs> It has to be when Lena and Lawrence are about to do whatever they're going to do. And then we see Alexis roll up to the door. And she's like, girl, we were supposed to go to the mall. Right. Alexis! Oh, what's up, girl? What's, what's going on? Oh, did you forget we were going to the mall today? Who's that? Oh, you got a man in there? Nah, that's, that's the TV. Bitch, you ain't got no TV. Netflix? And, uh, chill. Who is <laughs> My friend, she was just leaving. My name's Alexis. Nice to meet you. Hey. Mm. Mm. 
and <laughs> the facial expressions, the, the line of dialogue, how it's delivered, how it's acting. <laughs> it's brilliant comedy to me. That's my favorite scene, hands down. But I do, again, like the entire episode because it's um, it. comedic beats yeah. throughout. Square up. He is full. Girl, that is not my man. My favorite scene is the interaction that you're seeing for the first time between Calvin and Simone. Wow. Wow. <laughs> because it's it's going into the dancing and you kind of start to see this little flicker of something. And you're trying to really just understand what is what is this thing that's there. And you're also seeing them dance as well for the first time, and I really liked how they were able to incorporate that dance to the scene um, and incorporating those different stretches. And we were trying to figure out how we were going to portray them being dancers and, and doing that. And I was like, okay, let's let's see if they can do some stretches together while they're talking. Um, let's see if they can come up and with the banter. Dance. Banter oh, was really nice because yes. we had to figure out how to make that funny and how to make that at the same time borderline something else mm -hmm. that the audience is like. What? She has a name. <laughs> so what, what is she doing? Right. Action. Who's this? Oh, it's my friend. She's just. My name is sorry. Alexis. So I was just leaving. Yeah. yeah sorry. Bitch. Take sorry. Action. Oh, Stop. 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 I heard it, I heard the breath. <laughs> you need to not look at me like that because you made it worse. <laughs> oh, Maya! I, 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 I think I'm anyway. He just left to laugh. Filming this show was chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> it was stress. <laughs> uh, explain. It was stress. We filmed <laughs> out of sequence. So if anything looks crazy, we filmed out of sequence. But we got it done. Um, that's the word. A lot was removed from the show. Oh, yeah. Like that. They would have got a lot of fun. Oh, um, but on set, I had the most brilliant, most amazing, most talented production team. We have French, Maya Smith, um, hey, Charlie. Yes, Charlie. Oh, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting. Um, everybody was involved. Um, you Rock helped out sometimes. Yes, Rock. So I had the most. John helped out that oh, one time. Yes, he yes, did help. Yes. He had the boom mic. Um, <laughs> so, yes, everybody was wonderful. So, it made the experience very fun. Um, it was a very lighthearted environment. What was it like directing? It's hard doing the group scenes because they don't know when to shut up. They don't know when to shut up. <laughs> I'm like, it's time to go. We have to do the next scene. So, we have to stop talking between takes and just get it done. Um, but it was still fun nonetheless because you get to see the interaction and that just plays into the scene. So that was just the, you know, the way that the experience was great. <laughs>